Hello everyone, welcome back to the Vintage Model Company for another build video. Today we're making the KK Comet, one of the free flight glider kits that we manufacture here in the UK. In the box you'll find all of your parts including the laser cut wood pack, plan and other parts. The fuselage on the Comet is a pre-cut hardwood piece with a hole in the front for nose weight. The kit also contains special rubber for making a bungee or catapult along with some wire to add as a tow hook for the glider. All of the wing and tail parts are thick balsa wood sheets that can be glued together. Although not completely necessary with this kit, it might be a good idea to roll out the plan and stick it to a board. As with other balsa wood kits, the one-to-one -one scale drawing can be used to check alignment, and parts can be pinned down if necessary over a normal office pin board. It's also quite nice to clearly see what you're going to be building. Okay, getting stuck in, the first thing to do is to release all of the laser cut parts from their sheets by cutting the small tabs away with a sharp craft knife. This aeroplane is dead simple, so it won't take long for you to identify what each part is and where it goes. For the wing, small ply pieces are included for you to fix the wings together at a dihedral angle. You can build balsa wood kits with a variety of different glues, but we'd recommend using this deluxe materials 20 second super glue for a speedy build. You can simply hold the pieces together and wait for them to set without having to clamp or pin down any parts. When joining the wings, you'll need to use some sandpaper to bevel the edges to the same angle as the ply dihedral spar. Take your time here and sand lightly. Next, you can add glue and join the wing slab. It's really quite straightforward. Now, you might have noticed that the edges of these wings are pretty blunt. To achieve a nice airfoil shape, you'll want to sand down each wing to get a smooth finish. As a quick tip, you might find using a sanding block is a much better way of achieving a consistent curve than using a free sheet of sandpaper. Holding the balsa flat up to the edge of a table is a good way to quickly shape the wing. After this you can assemble the tail parts and also curve them to shape with sandpaper. Helpfully there is also a ply piece for connecting the wing to the fuselage. This creates a super strong join and ensures that you get perfect alignment. Take your time and don't use too much glue here. You can next make sure that the wing halves match up nicely by blending the wood with some more sanding. The tail is slightly trickier as it doesn't have a notch for alignment, but all you'll have to do is measure it, draw a line and reference the plan to make sure that it's nice and straight. Ok, time for balancing. For this glider, I decided to modify it slightly by cutting the side cheeks from scrap balsa included in the kit. This meant I could pour in some liquid gravity and secure it with super glue. If you want to launch the plane from a bungee, catapult or tow aircraft, you can make a hook from the wire included in the kit, or simply a spare pin found lying around. For some additional protection against the elements, sanding sealer can be applied to the entire airframe. After sanding, the sealer will prevent any paint from being absorbed into the wood. You can paint the entire aircraft with some spray paints, or you can hand paint some simple graphics like I did here. All that's left to do after this is to take the plane out for a maiden flight. This is an art in itself, with trimming and balancing, but we'll make sure to do another video on this at some point. Make sure to comment down below for what type of videos you'd like to see us do in the future on this YouTube channel. Also, take a look on our website, linked in the description, to choose a plane for us to build next. Thanks for watching, subscribe for more, and we'll catch you in the next Vintage Model Company video. See you on the next one!